Welcome to the latest episode of Drone News by Jeff Sibelius and LandonAirPhotos.com. I have two drone announcements today, one that you probably haven't heard about and one that you probably have. First, a new drone from X Dynamics is about to be released on the market targeting serious hobbyists and professional drone flyers. The X Dynamics Evolve is the company's first offering in the drone market. Bucking the trend for small foldable drones, the Evolve features a large carbon fiber body spanning more than 13 inches from motor to motor. It has a profile vaguely similar to the unique Q500 drone and will be wonderfully visible at distances where other drones would disappear entirely. The Evolve has a 21mm f2.8 lens and Sony CMOS image sensor with an effective image size of 12.4 megapixels and supported by a 3-axis gimbal stabilizer. The camera gimbal unit can be disconnected from the drone, supporting the potential for more cameras to be released in the future. It shoots 3840 by 2160 video resolution at 30 frames per second. The drone uses LiDAR and optical flow along with GPS GLONASS to ensure precise flying and will include smart pilot functions like waypoints. As cool as the drone is, the best feature of the Evolve may be its transmitter. It features a 7-inch built-in view screen that supports 720p display and a second built-in 5-inch touchscreen on the transmitter body. Unlike other camera drones, the Evolve's video signal latency is less than 10 milliseconds to support safer FPV operations. That's really all the information I have on the X-Dynamics Evolve for now, so I don't have an opinion on this drone as of yet. It is expected to release in mid-September for a price of $24.99. Factoring in the built-in viewfinder screen, this makes the Evolve a bit more expensive than the Phantom 4 Pro or the new Mavic 2 Pro, and substantially cheaper than the Inspire 2. I'm hoping to get a loaner Evolve from AsusDeals.biz, and if I do, I'll put it through its paces and give you my honest opinion. If you want one, contact acesdeals.biz. You can pre-order one now for $100 down. Aces Deals already has this drone in stock. They're just waiting for permission from X Dynamics to start shipping them, and that is expected to happen in mid-September. Follow the link in the description below and be sure to use the coupon code JSLAP. Now about the release you probably have heard about. DJI has announced the upcoming release of two versions of their Mavic 2. The two drones themselves share many of the same specs, which are pretty exciting. They use OcuSync 2.0 for better signal transmission, so they're now rated to go 5 miles, which is absurd. The video signal to the transmitter is an awesome 1080p, so you can share videos directly from your transmitter without even downloading them from the drone. They're also rated for lower latency than previous DJI drones, as low as 120 milliseconds. They will be able to fly at speeds up to 72 kilometers per hour, and they have forward, rear, upwards, and downwards obstacle avoidance. They also have left and right obstacle avoidance, but only in tripod and active track modes. Both Mavic 2 drones have a selection of upgraded intelligent flight modes, including active track, panoramas, point of interest, and waypoints. They also have Hyperlapse, which essentially is time-lapse video, and Hyperlight, which is a setting for improved quality in low-light situations. They're rated for 31-minute flight time and are quieter than the original Mavic Pro as well. The differences between the two Mavic 2 drones can be found with the cameras. The Mavic 2 Pro features a Hasselblad camera with a 1-inch CCD sensor. If you know anything about photography, you know the name Hasselblad is synonymous with quality. It has a fixed focal length of 28 millimeters. The Mavic 2 Pro has an adjustable aperture of f2.8 to f11, which is very cool, but still has the auto and manual focus, which I really don't like. The new camera offers an expanded ISO range and supports 4K 10-bit HDR to deliver a dynamic range of 14 stops. The only downside I see to this camera is that it doesn't shoot higher than 30 frames per second at 4K resolution. The second version is the Mavic 2 Zoom. The Zoom does not have a 1-inch sensor, but it has a 2x optical zoom built-in that supports a lossless digital zoom up to 4x. The optical zoom range is 24 to 48 millimeters, which is a really good range for a camera drone. The Mavic 2 Zoom has additional capabilities over the Mavic 2 Pro, including Dolly Zoom, the old Alfred Hitchcock vertigo effect, 
and the 48 megapixel super resolution picture, which is a series of nine photos taken and stitched together as one automatically by the camera. The variable aperture on the zoom adjusts from 2.8 at 24 millimeter focal length to 3.8 at 48 millimeter focal length, which is typical for a zoom lens. Unfortunately, like the Mavic 2 Pro, it has the autofocus and manual focus rather than a locked focus at infinity and is limited to 30 frames per second at 4K resolution. The Mavic 2 Zoom costs $1,249 and the Mavic 2 Pro costs $1,449. So what do I think of the new Mavic 2 drones? Well, lots of smart went into these two products. The Zoom caters to hobby flyers who will love having the ability to zoom as they fly. I don't think I would pay the money for the Mavic 2 Zoom to replace my Mavic Pro Platinum. The enhancements just don't justify the cost for me because I can pretty much recreate the Zoom in post-processing. But I know a lot of people will love that Zoom capability. Many of the people who fly Phantoms will jump to the Mavic 2 Pro because of its 1-inch sensor built into a more portable Mavic foldable body. Photographically, the specs for the Phantom 4 Pro and the Mavic 2 Pro are neck and neck. The Phantom 4 has a mechanical shutter and supports 4K video at 60 frames per second. It will probably be able to handle wind better than the Mavic as well. The Mavic 2 Pro has a matching 1-inch sensor with much more portability, more obstacle avoidance features, and that wonderful Hasselblad name on the camera. The Phantom 4 Pro and the Mavic 2 Pro are basically the same price, although the Mavic's batteries are cheaper. Overall, I think that portability will make the Mavic 2 the top choice over the Phantom for most people. Like the X-Dynamics Evolve, you can order the Mavic 2 drones at Aces Deals. Just give them a call at 888-239-2644 and be sure to use the coupon code JSLAP so you get a discount. That's it for this episode of Drone News. Thanks for watching my video. I've set up a Facebook group to make it easier for us to talk about drones and arrange opportunities to fly together. Follow the link in the description below to sign up for the group. On screen you'll find a playlist with many more tutorial videos on drones, so please check them out. Before you go, be sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel so you know when more videos are released. Thanks for watching.